Good morning, Greg. This is the Dave Ross Show, early edition. It is election day in Afghanistan where courageous voters under NATO protection have been inking their fingers despite the Taliban threat to cut those fingers off, and no one challenges their bravery. But at the same time, nobody's asking the question, exactly what are we fighting for now? We all knew the answer in 2001 it was to kick out the Taliban who had welcomed al-Qaeda, but now CBS's Afghanistan expert Jerry Van Dyke, who's traveled there 25 times, says the mission's gone beyond national security. We are back to nation building. To extend what we call democracy throughout Afghanistan. And the Taliban believe that democracy is a Western religion. And therefore, a challenge to Allah. And even though ordinary Afghans don't like the Taliban, they also have a hard time supporting a Western military that's killed hundreds of innocent villagers by mistake. It'd be one thing if this war was essential to our own national security, but Jerry Van Dyke says it's not. In my view, no. Because we long ago guaranteed that the Taliban will never again roll tanks into Kabul or host al-Qaeda. This is no longer about national security, he says. This is about President Obama showing that Democrats are just as tough as Republicans. The war has also crossed the border into Pakistan. Under President Obama, the United States has launched close to 55 drone attacks in the tribal areas to target al-Qaeda and Taliban leaders. There were about 18 during the eight years of the Bush administration. He has ratcheted up this war much more now than the Bush administration did. This is Dave Ross. Back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM.